Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with PDQ.com. Uh, I've talked a little bit before, as, as you've probably seen, about the PowerShell scanner, best practices, what to do. I figured it's probably best to uh, give you an example of, like a real world example for you, for you to look at. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the Windows Defender, make sure that we have the latest uh, updates and everything's up to date on that one. Uh, the reason I'm doing this one is because in Windows 10, it is a single line co uh, command. So I'm just kind of highlighting, uh, even if you're new to PowerShell, if the commandlet exists, which we have the git, git command option, you can find whatever you're looking for with that one. If that exists, you can <clears throat> run it just like that. So even if you're new to PowerShell, you can use this to grab the data you're looking for and then use that as a launching point to, to get better and learn more about PowerShell because it's not going away. It's just going to become more prevalent. So I think you should really dive into that one. Uh, so if we come into our scanners here, scan profiles, new. Windows Defender. All right, and then we're going to choose the PowerShell scanner. Uh, name that uh, virus definitions, I guess. I'm, not, I'm just going to put virus because I don't want to try to spell definitions live. How's that? Uh, so I have script selected. I've said before, uh, either in blog or in video, we, we prefer the file, so I'm actually going to switch that to the file. We'll create this on the file live. So we have here our, our IC open. Uh, the command to just get the Windows Defender is just this, get MP computer status. We'll just run there real quick just so we can highlight it. Uh, that, that's it. That would work. We're going to add a few things here just to kind of show you how you can make it a little bit more useful. Uh, the first thing that we're going to look at is if your machine is not a Windows 10, that command's not going to exist when you run it on it. Uh, so it's, it's going to fail, and as, <clears throat> as went over with error handling, instead of getting a random error, we want our error to say basically that more clear, precise, where we have control of what it says. So I'm going to put my command in here. We're checking here, we're getting the status error action set on the continue, and if not, then it says throw Windows 10, Server 2016, or higher required to run this command. So instead of the normal area you'd get where command not fan, you're going to get the line that you want right in there. And the other one we're going to look for is we want to make sure the Defender service is running. Because if that service isn't running, you know the definitions aren't up to date anyway. Uh, maybe you have a different antivirus than that one, or you have someone that's really pl playing with fire. So we're going to copy this one in here. I, I, I type it live, but man, I don't want those typos, so I just did this beforehand. All right, so now we have here defender status is not equals running. So now we have the <clears throat> entire script. We have the first part where we check, is it Windows 10? If it is Windows 10, great, move forward. And then we check, is the defender service running? If it's running, great, and then run the command. If not, it's going to error out and it's going to let you know why. All right, so now we're going to save this. Um, apparently there. Defend.ps1. All right, now we're going to go back to the scan that we were creating earlier. We got the file. We're just going to hit the ellipses, three dots as ellipses. If not, then I'm sure they'll let me know. Uh, we're going to go to the desktop. Webcast, and we named it Defend. And that's going to load in our script right there. So we're just going to press OK. We have the scanner. And uh, without testing, we're going to try it live on a couple of ones, and we should get some errors, some, some function. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens here. We're going to scan those computers with Windows Defender. Uh, so while it's running, it's, like I said, the one line would work. The get, M the get MCP computer status would work. Uh, just if it did fail because of the reasons that we did the error handling for, it's not going to give us the information that we want. Uh, I mean, the error is going to be in there. You know it's going to fail, but you're going to have to do some, some digging in. So we added information in there just to take that out of your hands. And it looks like... I grabbed a whole bunch of Windows 10 machines, so that would not a problem, and they all have Defender running. So, not a great example set, but I can come in here and take a look at virus, and you can see the ver the version, the, the spyware. So you can go in there. I mean, it grabbed a lot as I scroll through here, so you can see a lot in there, more than you need. Uh, I recommend you figure out which objects you actually need from that, select those, and then you you can create collections off of that to say, hey, which one of my Defender definitions is out of date, or is it this version or greater? And then you can see just within a collection if your virus definition is up to date. 
that's just a, a quick one you can do. It kind of shows the real value of what the scanner adds to you, uh, adds to your environment. Uh, for pdq.com, I've been Jordan. I, I am Jordan. I'm still Jordan. <laughs>